listen when God wants to train you spiritually and God wants to build you to be a mighty army your feet must touch the knot no matter where you are in this nation he will orchestrate an excuse and make your feet to touch the north a mystery the north prophetically is a spiritual training ground in mount zion the side of the north the city of the great king But when God wants to lift you, even if you are in Zamfara or Meduguri, he will find an excuse, even if it means for your boss to break down in Abelkuta or your boss to break down in Lagos. You come out and you are walking and complaining. Why is this boss not walking? And heaven says, thank you. Now that your feet has touched there, you can receive of ah. Tonight, I teach you how to read the writings on the wall. It takes an open eye for you to see what you call disappointment and you may not know that it is prophecy. Watch this. So you are an ordinary house help and God makes sure you come to Lagos to serve a woman for just two weeks. And after two weeks, she will drive you and say, I don't know why I don't like you. Go away. And God says, go. You, you, uh, you don't know the purpose of your being there because your eyes are closed if you see what transpired in the realm of the spirit there is almost no calm ground in the west that my feet has not touched it's prophetic are we are we together <laughs> ah people of god we must pray that this door of our eyes are open so that we interpret the happenings in life do you not know watch this there is a secret in the spirit and that secret is that you see this john the baptist you see john was a dangerous man john was not just a baptist though john was the continuity of a spiritual program john was elijah watch this so when Jesus showed up, when he looked at John, John said, I can't baptize. He said, look, it's not your body I'm looking for. I'm tapping into a covenant. Because according to God's program, the Lord does not show up until Elijah goes before him. It's a spiritual protocol. That before the great and terrible day of the Lord, Elijah shall come. Now Jesus could not be manifested. So he looked for Elijah. He found Elijah. Listen when you go to people who do divination when you go to people who do divination they will tell you certain things now some of what they say of course is not scriptural but notice sometimes they will tell you go and feed certain kinds of people they are not just saying go and give them food for nothing they are saying they may be seated as beggars but they themselves don't know what is inside them they come from a tribe that can lift communicate honor because when when they conjure powers they don't see things in the flesh again so they can tell you buy a plate of rice for a madman and he said no 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 this madman is not the madman even though he's a madman in gadara there's an evangelist hiding in him that can win 10 cities now divination will show you the evangelist not the madman so people tap into those demonic things you see they still prosper because they manipulate spiritual laws of course it will destroy them eventually because it's not routed through the office of the christ but i'm just telling you that it's a spiritual protocol hey believers wake up moving with life scientifically enough will cost you eventually the days that we come in require that the door of your eyes be open I'm buying sugar cane and I see two women stand in front of me weak looking old looking women and they're about to lose their this thing they tie to put money inside and I look at them and I'm compelled by my spirit to honor them I'm not sure it was more than hundred naira sir I just paid for them and they were blessing me blessing me blessing me 
God bless you. God lift you. And for some reason, I didn't even pay attention to what they were saying. And then one of the mama looked at me and said, my son forever walk upon gold. It's the realm of your glory. It's the realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. When it was time for Abraham to rise, even though God wanted to lift him, he could not just rise like that. Then one day he met a strange man called Melchizedek, the king of Salem. Whoever told you that men are just bodies, men are mysteries covered with skin. If God does not open your eyes, you can be married to your husband for 10 years, married to your wife for 30 years and not know what was hidden there. Jacob was a prophet that never prophesied until he was about to die. You can have four children and say, well, that's enough. And yet in the realm of the spirit, every time you sleep, you see five children. You say, God forbid, I rebuke that spirit. I'm done giving birth. I'm not ready to shout around any hospital again. And yet the Holy Ghost is telling you the fifth child is the deliverer it's not whether you want children or not when the door of your eyes are you can suffer for the rest of your life in the realm of the spirit the child is saying why did you not allow me there is prophecy that must be fulfilled notice children that become great their parents will tell you we had stopped we never planned giving birth to you and sometimes god will find a way ah this god Are you getting blessed? Great man. That's why I feel sorry for young men who do not have honor. You see, some of these are fathers and all the great ministries around. They may not be as enlightened in terms of spiritual knowledge. They may not be educated and articulate as we are. But we will be joking if you dishonor their altars and dishonor the covenant they had with God. Some of these, your fathers could not speak English. Was it not from Ekiti State I was coming? I was coming back and I saw a little city there. This city had mysterious grace for long life. 132 years. I saw 141. He just died. I told the driver, park. Because if you have the eyes to see, park! And we could not find anybody who was speaking English there, but they were Christians. I said, please look for someone. They found somebody with limited English. And we said, all right, please look for the oldest man here. Tell him we are men of God that I'm here to receive the grace for long life. You, you cannot live 132 years by mistake in this wicked world. No, sir. Where did your enemies go to that you lived 132 years? Whatever grace made you surmount them, I want it. Do you know why? Because I travel all the time and I know that the anointing on my life is a controversial anointing. So look for long life fast before you die like a chicken. I hope you understand what the Spirit of God is speaking to us. Listen, when you know the blueprint of your destiny, fish the graces that secure you quickly. When you know your destiny will require you passing through fire, when you know your destiny will require you passing through water, find who makes a boat. Find who has a fire extinguisher. Add 
them before the journey starts so when I stopped there they got somebody I saw some women standing and I greeted them they interpreted for them and then eventually we went and there was one Baba he was not even looking too old nobody holding a stick nobody looking like they were dying what kind of grace is this in your Nigeria yet we say the oldest person in the world is 114 years uh -uh. come to Nigeria the home of mysteries are we together and so they told the Baba they interpreted I've come to receive the grace for long life and he smiled he beckoned in Yoruba kneel down those who carry this thing know they have it all yes sir so you can be praying oh God bless me God will say I've blessed you but do you have the eyes to see where to come from are we together when I knelt down and that Baba was praying in Yoruba I don't understand Yoruba I honestly didn't care what he was saying as he was praying I felt like a crown physically come upon my head when I was done watch this I got up and I saw the seed appreciated him truly honored him I was going to go and enter the car again then I went to tell the women thank you the women that were gathered and I now celebrated them and they told me the 132 year old man he was a senior apostle he just died that that's his wife I said ah I'm sure she'll be like 120 something and yet she was standing I said please let's go although he has died you are still he's still alive in you two have become one is that not what the Bible says I said let's go back you must pray for me she tapped me she said come we entered a room and she started showing me pictures that was the wife of his youth the wife of his youth when she was done it was time I said now she should pray for us she removed her shoes put her legs on the ground and said kneel down when a woman takes off her shoes and puts her feet to make contact I hope you know the earth is a point of contact the earth is a universal point of contact there are five elements that the supernatural expresses itself in them one is earth everybody's leg stands on the earth so the earth is a point of contact your destiny helper his leg is touching the earth now so he, you can use it as a point of contact and call them forth this woman stood on the ground and for 15 minutes or so she first started with a song in Yoruba I honestly didn't know what she was singing all I know is that she was prophesying over my life ask my people whether the plane goes like this I continue to sleep do you know why because I've chosen life <laughs> what I'm sharing with you the first time I met your pastor when I looked at pastor he was farewell I saw that this man is a great prophet of God but let me tell you one grace I saw with your father he has a kingmaker anointing truly there is a grace on him that makes kings I saw that maker grace and I said no this man carries that grace you can be in this church for many years my pastor how are you sir I hope you are okay and never receive anything a stranger will stroll from Lagos and meander like someone who is missing and just come and say daddy sir I know you are a man of God but you are a prophet of God if you are in this church and God wants to lift you there is a grace on your father for not just revelation but confirmation there is a real grace that confirms what God is about to do in people's lives the question is can you see it hallelujah you look at a woman with 15 children one womb same woman 15 children firstborn governor second son vice chancellor third daughter consultant 
yet she didn't go to school you really think she can train those children like that no there is a grace you can be struggling with two children and package a seed and say mama you don't know my name and i don't know where you are coming from but to raise 15 children and none of them is an arm robber none of them is a prostitute whatever grace release it on me now mama may just laugh and say my dear son or my dear daughter towards the end of last year one of the women that was part of founding a great ministry in this nation abroad in a number of nations the lord gave her an instruction to fly down to come and see me old woman successful children i just hear that this woman is around to see me towards the end of the year mommy god bless you she said my son god sent me to come because it's a season of strange lifting for you and god said i should just come just fellowship with you and that when you come to my nation i should be responsible for your stay for everything but i was wise enough to know that it's not just about staying in her house there is a grace on her that must be introduced into my life when i say i'm a product of many anointings it doesn't mean i'm a product of impartation from many men of god i am a product of impartation from many altars if you wait for men of god alone to bless you you will not go very far because the real people that bless men of god are not men of god the real people that bless men of god are in the secret go and read your bible they are king makers a king maker never becomes a king but he makes kings study the history of your churches in the west the people who lifted the people you celebrate were not lifted themselves So if all you are waiting for is a man's result, you may not rise. Because there are people, somebody can see that not even have a church. He just sits in his house, prays, supports missionaries. Whereas that is the grace you tap into to have an international ministry. Be careful if all you look at is physical results. Because God hides great things. That's why your heart cannot be seen. Imagine if a woman's hand is on her head. A woman's womb is on her head. Do you know what your enemies will do with the baby? So God hid it inside. I can slap your head. And God designed it to be strong enough to endure every kind of wickedness that will happen to it. But the fragility of your womb, your heart, those organs, God hid it. So when God hides people, we live in a generation where we are obsessed to be seen. Let me tell you a secret. The more powerful you are in the spirit, the more God hides you. It's a principle. Prophets in ancient times hardly traveled. Even in the West here, they were seers. They will remain in a room like Habalis for a long time. But as soon as you open the door, they will call your name and say, sit down. Let me tell you your destiny. And you are wondering, who is this? They say, young man, you are going to be great. But be careful on the ninth year of your life. If you are not careful, this will happen. What I'm seeing, you should fail. But give me room. Let me go and tell God to change it. That's how they will talk. By the next day, they will come. They will say, I discuss with God. You are free. You will think it's a joke. Look, those people knew God. Oh. They knew God. Some of them were roaming around the forest when power fell on their head. They were not in a... a, a If our generation does not balance our new revelation with honor we will lose all the covenants that make sustainability that's why we young people have a lot of balloon success we come out today and make noise today and two years we are down because we are not supported by anything ancient i was talking with minister Dusin when he was telling me about his father and the revival and the move he, he happens to be at the same place with, with God's servant. The same region. I've studied some of those people. I've studied some of those prophets. My God! I'm telling you, history does not do justice to the level of power and insight and the knowledge of God they had. They were men. They had their limitations. 
but these men knew God they could go and discuss with God as though in a board meeting and come out and look at you and say this should happen to you but I just discussed with God and he agreed to let you go he can look at you and tell you if you don't behave well if your feet touches this city they will carry your dead body you will think it's a joke you just come i just flew in from europe flew in from wherever your feet will touch there and god will honor even if they are wrong he will honor them and then he will correct them later on that's the kind of covenant they had with god i wish what i were saying were a lie but it is true lagos hear me when god says it's a season of open doors the real door is not just business the real door is not just properties the real door is not just investment the real door is your eyes the real door is your ears because when your eyes is opened this is why the prophetic ministry is powerful and this is why it's the most abused because it's a ministry that thrives on open eyes and open ears do you know i can stand right now sir please come I can look at this man and in the spirit I can see that this man is a multi-millionaire now I've taken advantage of open eyes but because I do not have character and I'm not serious with God I will prophesy to him call his name are you together and now manipulate money out of him that one is not God that one is flesh but I took advantage of the open eyes so I can look in this congregation and fish out the wealthiest people fish out the greatest politicians and prophesy because it is at now is now is at my disposal now by the privilege of open eyes i can deceive and manipulate and because i have details that are true you will believe me are we blessed the miracle of open eyes who is God lifting in January who is God lifting in March you must have the eyes to see it so that you can come and plant your impact in the heart of that man it is easy to rise when your eyes are open you will know where to channel your energy productively so you don't waste your time investing in people who are not rising thank you sir are we together The first day I saw your daughter, sir, F.N. Nathan, I remember the first day she ministered, I looked at her, I said, ah, this lady is not just a worshiper, she's a prophetic worshiper. She truly has a grace that sets the atmosphere. It's true. first day I met with Minister Dunsin, I told him, and we continue to talk about it all the time. I said, this man, what God will do with this man in the nations, and I'm saying it even again and to the open, the grace, it is his personal competence and sacrifice, but he's an extension of an ancient altar. Believe what I'm telling you, this man you see is not just a song he's continuing something ancient the national anthem of nigeria says the labor of our heroes past it's not just heroes that fought physical war there are spiritual heroes past and some of us you see are extensions of what is happening let hope let it rise darkness trembles in your Listen, do you know there are graces that when you carry, God will not allow you marry from certain places. It's not whether it is good or bad. Ah, this is what your prophets used to do. They will look and tell you, no, I don't know why. The person is not wrong, but this combination is wrong. Now, it is not on all cases. There are people because of the prophecy on their life. Don't get me wrong. I hope you understand what I'm saying. 
it is true it does not happen in all cases but believe me there are certain graces there are times that god will connect you to a man and a woman and you look physically and there's no reason why you should be married and god says just do what i'm asking you to do i am joining altars more than men and two of you will bring a hybrid combination the children that will come out from that altar will introduce a new anointing to the body do you remember in scripture when this guy was laboring to pay dowry on his wife a ghost suddenly appears her stomach starts protruding say no i've gone through a lot of trouble with you madam my name is joseph you can go and look for whoever got you pregnant i'm tired your stomach is protruding who did you sleep with There's nobody a, a, a spirit came to me and told me i'm highly favored what is why didn't the spirit appear to say okay be patient as a husband just let me just use your wife to give birth to me, the messiah and hear me while all that discussion was happening joseph wanted to is in your bible to leave her and an angel appeared and said mr man don't you don't know what you are doing there is a mystery just be patient let them give birth to jesus you can have your children but be that father you are about to be introduced into a history that you do not know what I'm sharing and so there are times that you will have every reason every reason in fact there are some graces when you carry you cannot relocate to certain regions the graces and the nature of the operation of that graces require you are domiciled within certain regions so we will carry those graces god will he will not tell you this is why because god knows we are stubborn so he will look for an attractive excuse to take you to that place do you realize that one time jesus wanted to pray for a blind person he took him out of one city into another before praying for him jesus i'm at liberty to share these things because this is a prophetic church your man of God is a prophet. You understand? I will not share this thing in every cycle because sometimes people will think we are just talking a lot of nonsense. But believe me, if you call what I'm saying nonsense, I wish you good luck. In this wicked world, this cruel world that ignorance is, you pay with your lifetime. This is the mystery behind the results of people. Now, nobody will be honest enough to open up like this and tell you that behind the results you see there are mysteries you just see people rising and here's what we say you are lucky i'm demystifying that mystery called luck that there are altars there are support systems that lift people that's why they don't fear what people do because they know what is backing them hallelujah open eyes that you can see open eyes for your finances open eyes for everything around your life i want you to be tired of the realm you are now i want you to be tired of struggling tired of having to meet people to lobby your way in and out. no 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 there are superior systems hallelujah this is one of my dear people he's a military officer one time they sent him to Maiduguri where they were fighting with Boko Haram. And they almost killed this, my dear son, for me. I said, Lord, I thank you for the military people who are fighting. But please, I ask you, take this, my son, out of that place. We still need him for a long time. And that's why they carried him. I think he's in Lagos now. So. And he still comes to serve in the media every time. This is a military man. Because even though even though he's fighting he knows the altar and the grace that supports him listen believers let's be wise the days are evil 
the days are evil let us sustain spiritual intelligence no music artist in nigeria rises sustainably without being connected to a solid altar it is true otherwise a day will come songs will not come again a territory will squeeze you like an orange for over six months inviting you every day to every meeting after six or seven months they will spit you out and that's the end of your career but there are people who remain ever fresh the secret i tell you you look at them is not necessarily their skill or prowess alone they are tied to something that is ancient you don't find the root on earth you only find the body the root is in the realm of the spirit it does not die is god speaking to us we are going to pray i know that our time is gone but we'll pray before i begin to minister ah this morning god will surprise you all that that you left your house and came here no 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 he never calls the seed of jacob to seek him in vain and let me tell you this let me tell you this if the next few minutes you open your heart you will be surprised what god will do in your life men are made in the night not in the day the day is for manifestation the night is for making according to god's protocol is the evening and the morning the morning does not start a day if your day starts in the morning it's already too late both conception and delivery happens in the morning in the night listen while you are seated i like you to be i'm provoking you be tired of where you are and say lord i thank you you have blessed me but this is not it this is not it for my children this is not it for my destiny i thought things would change in 2016 i thought things would change in 2017 but lord this year of open doors maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically walk around this auditorium it's time for me to move in the name of jesus christ please wear the instrumentalist just help me someone is walking around and prophesying don't just walk around looking please prophesy i refuse to be in the same position i refuse to be in the same position by the power of the holy ghost Shalika baranda salatas yaka brakataka tabarakato sadebalakas. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. Shekete kaparakata. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do me a favor if you can. If there is no space, that's all right. But please pair yourselves into three. We are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord. We want to invoke mysteries in this place and pray. Please pair yourselves into three. If there is no space, just do two, two. Pair yourselves into three. Let's pray so that things will shift and change in our lives. Listen, in the next five to ten minutes, you are going to hold the hands of these people while you pray. This is going to be the prayer. Lord, every grace and covenant that is hidden on the person that I'm holding, I draw that grace through honor. Lift your voice and pray someone. You may be holding your brother, but pray. Parakato shalakata. Outside, are you praying? Shkaparakata. Embrekete kete ke parakato. Lakata prakata zikete. Repo shamata pambarakato. Lakata bro sanamarakata. Embrekete kete paruto shotoka. I draw you to my spirit covenants of lifting 
have made great. I pray into my spirit sacrifices that open the heavens. another person's hand. Change and hold somebody's hand. Don't, don't we lay the man of God, please. Make sure. Are you ready? You are still going to pray the same prayer. Please, these are prophetic instructions. I tell you, you are not wasting your time. Believe me. A threefold cord that cannot be easily broken. You are going to lift your voice again. Lord, what have you planted in this man? What have you planted in this woman? What altar of the spirit sponsors their possibility? I draw it to honor. Lift your voice. <laughs> Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
you are going to lay your hands on your eyes and you are going to say the door of my eyes you are also the door of my destiny in the name of jesus be open let me see lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and pray be open see opportunities be open be open be open see relationships be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus a father a father be open be open be open. Let me see my helpers. Be open. Let your business ideas. The door of my eyes. Be open. The door of my eyes. Be open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, then we'll begin to minister. The head of a man is the symbol of your glory. It is true. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please listen to me. It is true that what is on your head determines what is on your cup. You are going to lay your hands on your head and cast away every negative atmosphere and every programming, whether it is of ancestry, whether it's of bloodline, have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. And I decree and declare, may my head be lifted up he said listen to me he says thou O lord art a shield for me psalm 3 my glory he says the lifter up of my head you're going to prophesy my head my destiny rise up rise up from the ashes rise up from the grave someone is praying someone is praying awake and thou that sleepest rise from the ashes of mediocrity rise from the of failure rise from the ashes of limitation Lazarus out of the grave he said roll away the stone when it was time for Jesus to come out of the grave the angel came and rolled away the stone you are going to roll away every stone listen there are people the truth is you are standing physically but spiritually there is a door that has closed your destiny you are going to pray listen pray like a prophet pray like a priest that in the name of Jesus that every stone that covers my glory, my family, our name, our relevance, we roll you away by the Spirit of God. It's time for Lazarus to come forth. Someone is praying. Pray for your family. Pray for your relatives. Roll away the stone. Roll away the stone of limitation. Roll away the stone of retrogression. Roll away the stone that 
shuts your relevance that shuts your voice Roll away that stone of shame, of reproach. Roll away that stone of limitation. It's time for me to come out. It's time for my destiny to be announced. It's my season of appearing. tell you things are shifting in this place yes yes can I give you one more prayer point father everything tying me down he said lose that man and let him go the stone can be rolled away but your past is still holding you the stone can be rolled away, but yesterday is still holding you. Refusing that you will not enter tomorrow. Everything in my yesterday that is refusing me from entering tomorrow. Whether it is your past, whether it is your failures. Jesus, let me go. I cut away from you. Lift your voice and pray. <laughs> that is already morning we just have a few more minutes and the vigil is over but listen listen to me there are times in a man's destiny that you must be very serious with your life and insist you know the challenge with many believers is we are not yet serious enough one thing I know with the devil is he respects seriousness take it from me when there is a level of fire and seriousness you apply to your destiny he said resist the devil and he will flee not he may flee if he's not fleeing the resistance is not strong enough hallelujah we are going to pray did you bring your prayer request sir is, is it okay 
please return back to your seat if you've not written your prayer request we'll give you five minutes please write it because i'm about to minister now inside outside those following online from whatever nation you can write and send your request please do it very quickly we're about to pray everything you are tired of seeing that must let you go please write it down nobody's reading it right here it will be prayed for and then it will be burnt away so you don't have to be afraid that people will read your request you don't have to write your name you just write what it is some of you may need to call your loved ones and say what what are we tired of in this family that must go I'm convinced that a vigil without prayer is a waste of time a vigil that you did not pray prophetically and strategically is a total waste of time the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word remains the principal tools for healing for deliverance for breakthrough this is a very deep and profound mystery what we are doing and is biblical once upon a time three kings came together to threaten the people of god and they submitted the request on the altar go ahead write your requests the bible says to be anxious for nothing he says he says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says make your request known don't assume it is known make your request known please write it down and in case your faith did not allow you to write some things write it again no. because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we're even afraid to write them because we say can God make a way in the wilderness we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do set our hearts on you come and do what you do do you see me hallelujah now if you've written it please ushers ushers will go around you're just going to pass it they'll bring it before the altar here you can pass it to the last person maybe the person on the aisle can we do it that way maybe to make it easy or ushers just go around maybe just find a way of organizing yourself please make sure everyone's request is here just you can just submit it we are here for you come and do what we are here for you come and do, come and do what you do set our hearts set our hearts on you come and do, come and do what you need we need a move Submit it to the ushers moving round. There are ushers moving. I don't know if there are ushers up there. If they are here to collect yours, you can just wave yours and somebody will. Please, there are people waving there. Let's, let's have their request.
that will come out from this request will surprise you. The Lord is asking me to stand on it. Listen, the moment I stand on it, the power of God is going to begin to touch people. Please, I want you to bring them out. It's an instruction that the Holy Ghost is giving to me. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me an instruction that the moment I stand on this and I stand on it in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this congregation. Father, in the name of Jesus, the anointing that must open doors right now from the left to the right, the front to the back. May that grace locate people now. Amen. Take that grace now. Amen. Please bring them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You're going to sing a song for me. Let your power flow. In this place. Bring them out. Let your healing power. like a rope this is delay and i'm seeing the number 17 right now there are 17 people all over the congregation i stretch my hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on you now breaking delay bring them out i release that grace delay break now please bring them out now in the name of jesus the spirit of delay tying down people's lives be broken now Inside, outside, bring them out. The spirit of delay. Shalakatabata. Whether you are inside, outside, bring them. voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. Lift your voice in one minute rebuke delay from your life. It's time to walk through open doors. Time to walk through open doors. showing me the hands of people tied i'm seeing hands that are tied i want to pray right now the power of god will come on those people some of you it's not just your hands that are tied it's even the hands of your family god will touch you for your family i'm seeing right now at the count of three one two three may that grace break those chains right now break those chains oh my god my god my god God is bringing deliverance. Help that woman, please. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Now, please hear me. I'm still praying. 
the lord wants to break people free from covenants and yokes of darkness at the count of three you're going to shout that name jesus there is a strong fire from this altar that will fall upon your life are you ready now please bring those people in the name of jesus anyone's destiny here that has been tied by the orchestrations of witchcraft fire. i come by the rod of a higher priesthood yes, in the name of jesus yes, at the count of three yes, as you shout may that yoke be broken you will shout jesus at the count of three one two three jesus break now break now break now break now I bring you deliverance. I bring you healing by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release their destiny. Release their lives. Release their destiny. Hallelujah. I give the chains for Who is Stella? Stella. Stella. You are wearing green. Stella. Who is that? Is there a woman called Stella? What's your name, ma? You are a member of this church? I want to pray for you because your life is about to change completely. What I see God doing will surprise you, ma. Can I pray for you? Jonathan Jonathan I'm hearing a name Jonathan Jonathan you are wearing a white like a white cloth Jonathan who is that is there somebody like that break every chain break every chain break every chain what's your name please verify that they are not just coming out please don't just your name is Jonathan sir your name is Jonathan it's alright I will pray with you whose mother is in the teaching hospital there's someone your, your, your mother also is in the teaching hospital sick I don't know who that person is but please come I want to pray can you find that person I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus I want to pray for you I want to pray for you Kemi who is that K-E-M-I Kemi that's, that's somebody's name Please who is that? Quickly Ma I want to pray for you In the name of Jesus the son of the living God I truly see a very serious breakthrough Why, why are they coming? Look at what is happening to this woman. Look at this. Look at this. Look what is happening to this woman. I'm seeing something being loose from her. Leave her now. Look at look at the miracle happening right in your presence. My God. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus. This girl. Tap her. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I declare that the reproach on your life and your family, let it come to an end now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I command that you go out of her life now. In the name of Jesus, out of her life. See, let me tell you, please don't think we are wasting our time here. God is rearranging destinies. My dear, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. Remember not the former things. This, this young lady, 
nor consider the things of old come the lord is asking me to lay my hands on you that things will turn around in your life in a way that will surprise you in the name of jesus let this happen even by the spirit an end comes to oppression in your life in the name of jesus christ susan 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 i'm hearing the name susan who is susan you are susan who is susan mama you are susan from where from where are you is, please help us. is this mic working huh I'm married to a kitty, but I'm from Delta. I want to pray for you. Can I rebuke the spirit of death over your family? The power of God is going to come on someone now. The Lord is averting death from your family. It's, listen, no, no, no. It's a specific person. I want to bring the person out right now. A strong anointing is going to fall on someone. Please bring the person. That spirit of death. I just saw like a dark shadow. In the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare that everyone and every family are pointed unto death by the spirit of the living God it is averted now when the power of God comes on that person please pick the person and bring them out the anointing of the spirit That man near the door, that man wearing red, tell him to lift his hands. That gentleman standing near the door, tap him and tell him to lift his hand. No, the one wearing red, tell him to lift his hands. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of death out of his life and out of his family. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to you. And I pray. The grave is a spirit. It can call people. You can hear it like someone is calling you. But it is the grave. I command in the name of Jesus. May your ears be shot towards the voice of the grave. In the name of Jesus. For you and for your children. And I declare you are free now. And you are free forever please don't be embarrassed there is the Lord is showing me a woman here I know that generally there will be a lot of people but there is a woman here this is up to four five six like six years you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb who is that person I'm, I'm seeing up to one two three four five six please come your time has come who is that Haribiti Arabata Any last hope it's you Haribiti Please stand up Stand up Any last hope it's you Please stand up, let me know I know some of you just came out It's not what I said, but you still came out But God God will still touch you But I know some of you I hope you are all married Praise God. We have to be careful in the house of God over the things we pray for. Praise the Lord. Where is your husband? Please help us with the mic. Media, can, can you help us so that the mic works? My husband is at home. Where? Where is home? Maryland. Maryland. Yes. You are in Lagos here. Yes. Do you believe that if we pray for you, you will have a child. Yes. You will come and stand in this altar yes. and testify. Yes. Kai, the wonder working power of God is a marvel. The power of God is going to come on one of you. One of you here, right now. Now, out of her. Barrenness is a spirit it can hear. Out now 
release their destiny release their fruitfulness it's over go and return with your children in the name of jesus christ i speak to you and i prophesy according to the time of life i don't care what the situation is in the name of jesus christ i speak to you by the power that raised christ from the dead standing on this altar of pastor amos Fenwa as the prophet of god i decree and declare you will return with your child in the name of jesus my dear is your husband here because the lord is telling me he's here where is he please help us are the mics working call him where is he husband let's save time our time is, is do you call his name so that he will hurry up Shola, Fawe. Shola are you here sir okay someone has gone to call him there is a reason why I'm asking him to come I hope you're not embarrassed a few minutes and, and we'll be done what's your name Susan I want to pray for you where are you from what do you have to do with Anambra state my father is from there your father is from Anambra state I want to pray for you that every altar that stands to destroy your destiny in the name of Jesus I curse that altar now out now <laughs> sir how long have you been trusting God for the foot of the womb huh? yes. about six years do you believe the end has come yeah. hold my hands My friend, look at me. You believe in miracles? Huh? Yes, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it's over. I needed to pray for him first. Now, I see what is happening. I prayed for him and the miracle happened to the wife. You see, the eyes to see it. You must trust God for grace. That simple instruction. Look at this. This is to tell you that when people marry, two really become one. Because I wanted to pray for her and the Lord said, no, this is the man you will pray for. And then this will, please go, you will return with your testimony. So. I can't even remember why you are, Kemi, all of you, why are you here? You know, sometimes this thing, okay. Do you do business? Huh? What do you do? I sell clothes and I run a training outfit. Ah! Madam, this is your year. You are going to make a lot of money. Amen. Is it your mother? <laughs> I spoke about business and you ran out. Ah, you do business too. What do you do? Huh? Kitchen utensils. Kitchen? Kitchen utensils? Ah, okay. I will pray with you to help. But... Madam, can I pray with you? Don't forget God though, as he lifts you because what I see happening to you, it will surprise you. June, July, August, there are strange months of breakthrough for you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. These are your children. Come. Who is this one? This Ola, my firstborn. Your firstborn. Where is she? Uh, at the road. Pray for how? Huh? I will speak in parables. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity. Please pray for her. I am convinced that if you are born again and your association is not born again, you are not born again. I'm sorry, but this is how you have to be born again enough to affect your association praise the lord so we have to be very careful so that sometimes we don't get ourselves mixed up into a lot of this nonsense that destroy god's people oh madam i pray for you may doors be open for you now in the name of jesus and for all of you here who are standing i want to pray for you August is your month of wedding. Who is that? August, come. Because I'm seeing something that can create serious trouble. I must pray for you. 
I'm not saying if you want to marry August, oh, please understand what I'm saying. What? I'm seeing too many people. No, I'm not saying if you want to marry well. Are you married? Huh? August. No, I'm talking. I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't communicate it well. I meant you have fixed your wedding date and it is for August. Because some of the people I'm seeing here, you should not be. Is there someone like that? This is what I'm seeing. Please, if there's someone like that, I want to pray for that person now. You? Your wedding? When? August. It's been fixed. Is your pastor aware? Oh, you just agreed. Ah. I respect protocol oh, so that I don't come and bless. Make sure you meet. I will pray for you, eh, but this is this is the the, 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 the relevant committee who will work on it. What, what's, what's happened to Mama? By August. That's right. They are getting married. This is the wife. And this, is the husband. this is the wife. This is the husband. Which one is your child, Mama? Uh, my son. I mean... Okay. In the name of Jesus, we pray. There will be no accident. Mama, what happened to you? What happened to you? I I first I went to Beria 2018. You are a member of this church, Mama? My son is a member. I okay. Okay. Member you went for burial. Mm -hmm. And from After that. Your leg just paralyzed. I first sick seriously. I'm the one that come out just now. Come and give testimony that I nearly died. Said. Okay, she shared the testimony. Since you are already out, let me pray for you, Mama. No, don't worry. I will just pray for you. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Mama. Let the power of God heal you from this arthritis. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost completely set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I pray for every one of you. For whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. You will return with strange testimonies. My sister, look at me. This lady, lift your hands. I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm not seeing a face. Stand up. I'm seeing a body, but I'm not seeing a face. I must rebuke bad luck from your life. Can I pray for you? I hope you're not embarrassed. Hold my hands. Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus, let this be over in your life. Now, in Jesus' name. This fair lady, you, that come, it's time for God to turn your family around. Please come. I bless all of you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is not of God, let it give way. God bless you. Please, you can return back to your seat. I prayed for you. Have I prayed for you, man? In Jesus' name, I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, my dear? Huh? Jonathan. Where are you from, sir? In the name of Jesus, I release you and I open up doors for you. In the name of Jesus, I open up doors for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name. Where are you from, my dear? I'm coming from the community of State. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore the blessings of your family. Everything that represents shame and reproach, I come against it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for the sick? My God, our time is already gone. Let me use a few minutes to pray for the sick. If you are trusting God for healing any part of your body, um, you don't have to come out. Just, we may not have all that time. Where you are, just where you are. Don't worry. Right where you are, just lay your hands there. There are so many people trusting God, so we may not. She's already out. I'll pray with you, but 
in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Now I want to pray for the sick, please. Believe in miracles. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just touch your chest. And I will pray for you right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That every spirit responsible for every kind of infirmity in your body. I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus. Right now, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. From the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet, be healed now. Be healed now. Every lump in the breast area or any part of your body I command it to disappear now the power of God is touching people migraine headache be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now heart palpitations be healed now every challenge with your bones in the name of Jesus I correct it now pile no matter how long be healed now in the name of Jesus there's someone you have severe pain around your molars your teeth in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching that person right now touching that person right now we're going to take a few testimonies here in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you have excruciating stomach pain you've not been able to figure what the problem is month after month excruciating pain right now you're going to feel just like fire a warm sensation and that's the end of it I declare be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone I think because of your blood group you have um, a lot of pains help them the power of God is coming on that person right now around your joints severe pains in the name of Jesus right now the power of God is touching you every problem with your eye in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare be healed now any challenge with your ears in the name of Jesus I declare unto you be healed now by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone who eats and throws up what you are eating you are not exactly sick like your body but you eat and you just feel this irritation and then you throw it up in the name of Jesus I declare to you be healed now completely set free completely set free it looks like hyena around your groin area but it brings severe pain and it has refused to go I don't know who that is but in the name of Jesus I'm declaring to you be healed right now there's someone just just around 
the area where you feel pain for appendicitis you've been feeling that pain this is up to two years now i'm praying for you by the power of the holy spirit be healed now supernatural healing in the name of jesus supernatural healing um my god you had a dream and it's like a dream or something from what i'm seeing and someone told you that they will put cancer on you in the name of jesus i don't know who that is i hope you know that these things you see most of these challenges are demonic in origin they really truly are i'm praying for you right now Bring the lady that shouts under the anointing. The power of God is coming on a lady now. I'm seeing a lady, not a man. It's a very loud shout. Please bring that person. I just want to prophesy over that person and rebuke this thing that I'm seeing. There is something in your stomach that God wants to remove out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's, it's an instruction God is giving me, so please just be patient with me. As that anointing comes upon that person, please bring the person here right now. I want to pray. No, that's not the person. The power of God is going to come upon the person. I will still pray, but that's not the person. This one I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. I was praying and the Holy Spirit just interrupted me. It's a very strong anointing and it's just coming on someone right now. You see, when you are spiritual, you have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. We are here responding to what He wants, not what we want. And if you are not sensitive, you can miss out on prophetic things for people's lives. Praise the Lord. I don't know why He does these things sometimes, but we just are patient. Please, just be sensitive. The power of God will come on that person. Bring her. Oh, we are here. Oh, we are here. Jesus I decree and declare they will not tell you you have blood tubes in the name of Jesus I reject that evil report and I declare that everything that is not of the Christ in your life and in your body let it go now in the name of Jesus let it go now in the name of Jesus and now I pray for every other person whether I've mentioned your case or not I'm seeing a thermometer this is high blood pressure in the name of Jesus be free now in the name of Jesus be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that everything that is not of God planted in your body I command it to come out now in the name of Jesus I command it to come out now let me wrap up by speaking over your life now listen very carefully Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please give it to us Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please let's read it together and the elders of the Jews build it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment hallelujah now listen I want to speak to you because the Bible lets us know that we are built up like living stones and I want to speak over your life they prospered through the prophesying they prospered through the prophesying prophecy is powerful and by a prophet 
the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved the prophetic ministry has largely been abused the prophetic ministry has been maybe tampered with the level of character and intelligence and balance may not have been quite there but it does not mean the prophetic ministry is not valid it is a ministry that is valid for all generations praise the Lord can I speak over your life prophecy does not only reveal it creates it can make what has no business happening to happen in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every closed door Holy Ghost Christian Center I pray for you that every door that has been closed towards you your business and your family I speak to that door be open now in the name of Jesus be open now in the name of Jesus be open now in the name of Jesus I speak to every branch of this ministry scattered across the globe in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and all the ministries connected to this grace whatever has shut the door towards your influence your impact I decree and declare those doors are open now I pray first over your spiritual life whatever has closed the door to hunger genuine passion for the things of God whatever has eroded your prayer life whatever has dampened your word study life so that you no longer have the hunger and the passion for the things of God in the name of Jesus tonight may that door of desperation and hunger towards the things of God be opened listen please hear me when a man is not serious with God that destiny is in trouble I don't care what you have I don't care what you have I don't care what you are if your hunger hunger is proof of health when people are sick the first thing that happens is they lose appetite hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 